If you went to the doctor and the doctor said, I'm going to heal you for a little bit more than I used to, what would you say to that? Game Masters here with a quick look and comparison at how the spell Cure Wounds has changed from the 2014 version of the Player's Handbook to the 2024 version of the Player's Handbook. In 2014, Cure You Wounds was a first level evocation. In 2024, Cure Wounds has become a first level abjuration. Now this was a little odd choice of a change on the surface. Uh, abjuration magic focuses on spells that block, banish, or protect, whereas evocation magic more uh, creates something out, out of nothing, like creating a cone of cold air or, or calling down lightning from an otherwise clear sky. In both versions, the casting time is an action. You must be touching the target to heal them. They both use verbal and somatic components, and they happen at the moment the spell is cast. In 2014, Cure Wounds would allow you to touch a creature and it would regain 1d8 hit points plus your spellcasting ability modifier, and it would have no effect on undead or constructs. The 2024 version bumps up Cure Wounds to heal for 2d8 hit points plus your spellcasting ability modifier, but oddly, it does not mention anything about if it affects undead or constructs. We've always had a homebrew effect with almost any healing spell at our table that if it were cast on an undead, uh, such as a, a vampire or a zombie, that the healing spell would instead cause damage. And I think this is a safe one for us to continue to use this way. In 2014, Cure Wounds would gain 1d8 in healing for each spell slot level above 1. In 2024, Cure Wounds gains 2d8 for each spell slot level above 1. Personally, I don't see any negative issue with this specific change. I, I know players will get more mileage out of it, and I'm not sure that I fully understand why they boosted the amount that Cure Wounds can heal for, but honestly, it's a change that I can accept. If you like this video comparison and you'd like to see more like it, give this video a thumbs up. That tells me that the content is interesting. Subscribe if you haven't. That encourages me to do more videos. But two, tell me what you guys think. Is adding a D8 to the spell, uh, does that make it overpowered? Or was it underpowered to begin with all the way back in 2014? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What what might I be missing that could potentially make the spell broken with its added die? Again, talk to me down in the comments. And until next our paths cross, may you, may you find that when you need it, you'll have some extra healing from your doctor without the extra bill.